that's a weird thing to say. Good morning, party people. Welcome to the breakdown with Nath and here he is, the sideways man himself. <laughs> I'm the backwards man, I'm the backwards man, I'm the backwards man, I'm the backwards man. Do any of you guys remember the movie Freddy Got Fingered with uh, Tom Green? And he did that thing where he put the suit on backwards and he's just walking around going, I'm the backwards man, I'm the backwards man. I don't think I ever saw that. Uh, It's definitely not your style of humour. It's very crass and just stupid. Oh, that's why you love it. Yeah, it's just done well because if you're a fan of Tom Green, it's just done in his quirky style. I can't think of anything else he's in apart from Road Trip. He was in Charlie's Angels. Oh, yeah. The Chad. The Chad. The Chad Chad is great. Yeah, I do remember that, actually. Uh, And he had his own sketch show, skit show, uh, the Tom Green show or whatever, which was was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about The Migrant, the brand new truck from Shadow of Intent. Yeah, we're going to check out some heavy... I I assume it's going to be heavy. Uh, Unless they throw us a sweet curveball... And it's uh, like Latin folk or something, which would be interesting. Anyway, we're going to check it out. How you're doing? We hope you're good. Let us know in the comments if you're This is one of those right. ones where you've backed yourself in a corner and now you don't know yep. how to get out. Talk, Nathan. <laughs> would you please, for fuck's sakes, talk. Say something. And the ball went flying and then, oh, I don't know what to do now. I'm just going to, oh, I'm having a great day. How's yeah. your day? You can't respond to me because I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> Pretty much. This is why I don't do anything like this by myself. We, I would be interested to know, for you, but this is actually a genuine question. I've just interrupted ourselves here. Four times where one of us couldn't be here, if something was going on, would you want to see us try and do something solo? Because this whole channel for me is the dynamic of just us getting to hang out, talk shit on each other, watch the music. I would love to know if you want to see Johnny do this by himself or me do this by myself. Like interviews would be easy because you can talk to people and like, you and I could both hold an easy conversation with people solo. Yeah. But reactions, I don't think I'd enjoy doing that by myself. Yeah, look, it's probably not for me. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd, just, I'd be interested to know from you guys. Just I, like, Okay. I would be willing to do one each just to see just to see how it works. Because I agree that it is the dynamic. We react to the Amity Afflictions brand new track. By myself. <laughs> by yourself. Watch you struggle to say anything nice without me backing them up. I could say nice things. Without lying. I could say nice things. About them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I liked the last song, and they're a very hard-working Australian band, and they have Look very you progressing avid as a fans, human. and I respect their drive and determination. Good for you. I like that. Anyway, comment below if you think that would be interesting. Not that Johnny doing that. We wouldn't make him do that. But no. <sighs> Someone has said they've been like... Because Johnny's been busy as hell, and we haven't been able to film as much content lately, and that's why we don't do more because we don't really do things by ourselves because we don't really want to at the moment. But maybe if that's something you really want to see, we could try that out. Yeah, but also like we, you know, full disclosure, I've been busy as hell going through a bit of a hellish period uh, of just organising shit and dealing with life. But you got a dick transplant, guys. Exactly. I now have one, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> Before self burn <laughs> yeah self depreciating humor that that is what a reaction with just me would be like like oh god like my fat man boobs are sweating through this one bro. yeah people think I'm just rude to you it's someone that's challenging me rude to you and it just happens to be me because otherwise it'd just be you being rude to you and it's not as funny when you do it yeah exactly uh, but yeah it's just it's been a, a super busy time we've had not fest and things like we said we're doing our best we will always try and bring as many videos to you as we can uh the best thing to do, though, is to probably, if you are on Instagram and that, is to follow our socials only because we do a lot of explain, explanations explanations of, of what we're up to in our lives and that's where we generally keep up to date, keep you guys up to date with, with what we're up to in life and where we're traveling, like if Nathan's away, if I'm away, if we're busy or something like that. That is generally where we will let people know, hey, videos are going to be a little bit slow for the moment. So... I had a guy come on one of my posts the other day and be like, hey, you're that music guy from YouTube. And I love that because it's like... It's usually the opposite. It's the opposite normally yeah. before, yeah. my other, For those of you that are new to this and whatever, I do like social media is my actual job and I run a few businesses and stuff there. And so this, when we started this as its own thing that wasn't like just me doing something, it's the breakdown. I love when people be like, oh, what you on that thing? They have no idea I exist outside of the internet. That's sick. Mm. I, don't exist, I don't exist outside of the internet. Yeah, he's a fi- figment of your imagination. I was going to say. Yes. Fi- if you're imagining me, you should stop that. 
it's only going to cause you issues. I imagine anyway. you like this. Hey, baby. So I thought cool. Doing a cool thing. Hey, uh, I don't know if you know, but I'm kind of cool. But yeah, everyone's on. I'm waiting for you to put yeah, them yeah. on and get this video started. Three, two, one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Check out the merch. Donations link if you want to help us out. Official link to the video below. Did that pretty quick? That's what she said. <laughs> Sometimes it just works <laughs> too well not to do it. God damn you. I love awesome. the use of space in this song. You're a dickhead. They've got some epic arrangements in their songs, huh? Mm. It's got a real rock vibe to it. <laughs> oh, finally I get to finger you guys again. To pause. Vocals. Yeah, they're insane. But the thing that I'm loving in this is the ferocity and speed of the drumming. But when it cuts to him, he's just like, bing, bing, bing. oh yeah, bing, 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 bing. fully he's just, just like, <laughs> yeah, I spat doing that. Worth it. And I'm just sweating watching him. In his defence, though, he was sweating before he started playing too. It's he's pretty, very hot and sexy. Pretty moist in here. No, it's not. I'm alright. That's why I don't wear sleeves. Then I don't get hot. I feel like cool breeze in my nether regions. I'm a cool guy. <laughs> I'm Johnny Duncan. <laughs> Take the boy, Johnny. <laughs> oh, I fucking love that riff. That is a bloody ripper. He's a gun ham in the background. Mm. God. Oh. Now that I've got that penis transplant, I too will know what it's like to get that deep. I apologize. Yeah, he did that all just like without breathing. It's hectic. Whoa, shit! Goodness gracious. Fucking hell. Insane. Woo. Get it, Shred Lord. That coral section in the background is really mm. cool.
Do you know what my feedback on that song is, Johnny? Uh, unintelligible lyrics. Yeah, I didn't get a single lyric in that song. I got which, a couple of them. But, which is yeah. my... For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for being here. Uh, oh, not, don't worry. All the Deathcore fans that disliked your review of like the first Deathcore song we did was like, fuck this guy, I'm out. Yeah, lyrics well, don't matter. Yeah, my big problem with Deathcore and that like super guttural style vocals is that I, I just can't understand the lyrics very well and that's a big thing for me is understanding that and that's where I think seeing bands like I know Lorna Shaw is the easy one to point to but the fact that there's some like intelligible lyrics throughout there is what makes it a bit more accessible to me seems like Brand of Sacrifice yep um, yep whereas that there while it's face meltingly heavy and guttural and wild it's also I just hear it as an instrument and not as a vocal, as a, a lyric. For sure. So. And there is a lot of people like that that listen to <coughs> this genre of music specifically for that, and that's cool. Like you know, like you know, some people just want something that is crushingly heavy because it resonates with them, and that's fine. That's why they date um, Johnny. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Uh, yeah, for me, deathcore is like I'm the same. There's a few that I really love, uh, but it's 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 still a sometimes food for me. Because I... Ear food. Yeah. I just need to be in the mood for it because it tires me listening to it sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and, hey, for all you Deathcore fans out there, maybe that might make me a bit of a pussy, but whatever. You know, like, I... Music for me is really, like, a, a good way to sort of reset and, and, you know, regroup mentally and physically. And it, it's, like, I... I <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Uh, a lot of people have a very, very strong emotional connection to music, which I personally feel I have. So sometimes it's a little bit too much for me. Uh, that song, as much as I completely and utterly respect the musicianship and enjoyed it, uh, it would be a sometimes thing for me. The, now I'm reading that the lyrics are as heavy as the vocals. Hear the startling hiss of decompression, a lifeless instant, melting jaws, drip of his flesh, suckling on the bones whilst disposing the rest. To build worlds of gore confined in a glass crypt, translucent palaces of black blood one day will flourish again. Tell you what, that's a mouthful just to say, let alone gutturally raw. That's yeah. wild. Dude had an insanely strong voice. The <coughs> yeah, band is huge. so freaking good, so talented. So I great. really love that this sort of symphonic metal, for lack of a better term, yeah. is really having its day at the moment because it's so well produced, so well written. That sounded... Huge film clip was really cool too. Yeah, the I really like the way it was lit to make it like obviously it's all green screen stuff, but to have them look like they're in the whatever weird alien ship thing. Yeah, I think it's really cool that a lot of these these sorts of bands in this genre are really branching out and utilizing technology and and storyboarding and and other sort of you know imagery and stuff other than what you would think they would normally use, which is just be them playing in a dimly lit room, maybe some flashing lights and things like that. So. Uh, it was what happens when Johnny produces music videos. Pretty I've got, much, I've got yeah. a brand new I've idea, got a, guys. I've got an idea, guys. Hear me out. You guys, playing your instruments in a room, occasionally there'll be flashes of light. It's just Johnny with a torch going, boop, boop. Fuck. Boop. You see what I just did? I just went... <laughs> so that's why I don't need to always tease him. He'll do it himself. Oh. That's what you get if you've got just a video of Johnny reacting to things. Just him jerking off for a three hours anyway thanks for watching because you forget to turn the camera off I better get out of here I've got my first soccer football game for the season I have done zero training or preparation <sighs> hopefully hopefully uh, striker or on the wing because I feel like on the wing I don't have to do as much running but when I do I have to be quick both are an issue for me. What you don't? Uh, what, what formation? We're going to go on a football chat now. And I don't normally like football chat, but when we're playing, I'll allow it. We generally play like a uh, like a four four two or a four five one, and then we have like four, a four five one. Bold move. Yeah, yeah. Having the wide wingers, uh, having the strong four defensive line, like, and then like in the middle, having like a sort of like like a triangle where you've got like a sweeper and then two two centre midfielders that can sort of you know push up and drop back when they need to to help out. So, and then just one style striker. Do you have to fit enough for that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. not you. Okay. Ah, fuck no. Put me in the centre of the park a few times last year and I absolutely hated it. Were, how many goals did you get last year? Goals? Yeah. Me, none. 
Did you have to do a nudie run? No, we didn't have an end of season trip. It didn't get organised. Otherwise, it would. We didn't have an end season trip last time I played, and someone still had to do a nudie run. Really? Yeah. So I should just turn up naked today. Just saying. Yeah. Give the people what they want. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>